Polina believes the cultural success story of Australia's original inhabitants, the App Origins, can be replicated to achieve the same for Namibia's tourism sector. He said Namibia is blessed with the diverse cultures with the potential to pump dollars into government coffers. The Aboriginal tribe had become a major tourist attraction for Australia due to the persevering spiritual knowledge, custodianship of land, culture and people. He says during his time in Namibia he observed that the San and Himba communities were very similar to his tribe as they have managed to preserve their traditional way of life in the face of modernity. Keep it real. Do not change your life for the dollar. If you keep it real, people will always come. People are looking for our culture. Our cultures, yours and mine, are the oldest cultures in the world. You know, This is what the globe is now looking for, the real experience. I tell my people in Australia the same thing, keep it real. With Namibia's tourism sector thriving, backed by the creation of communal conservancies, the tour expert says Namibia's rich cultural and heritage offers an opportunity to expand tourism and spur economic development for social equity. And with world tourism moving in more indigenous pattern, cultural knowledge can also be applied when looking for solutions for environmental problems. As you know, we have serious environmental problems today around the world. So people are looking to indigenous people for their wisdom and for their values and for their knowledge of how to live in the earth without damaging it. And the cultures of Namibia, including the Himba and the Sun, uh, have that knowledge. And many cultures, many other cultures, are losing that knowledge as they integrate into modern society. So we are pleased to see that the Himba and the San are doing their best to hold on to their lands and their culture. Despite the stunning and harsh landscapes in Namibia, indigenous people who live there in a traditional style are impressive in their own right and have their unspoiled cultures to offer to the tourists at a world-class level, as was witnessed during the Adventure Travel World Summit last year. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Ventuk.